The Seismos are moving up in the world, but how far can they go? We'll find out today as we take on number 24 Auburn, and then Appalachian State, who's a little bit better than Georgia Southern and FCS East. They're definitely a much better team on paper and should give us perspective about the direction our season's going as a whole. Ah, the question we were all asking ourselves: were we gonna get any more commitments? Apparently not this week. We should be getting pretty close though. Literally 99% locked on Malachi Washington. It could not be any closer. Him and Big Daddy Womack will definitely commit by the end of the episode. Shout out to my good friend and the only Auburn alum I know, Big Old Drewski. If you're watching this episode, you might get to see your team clap some cheeks. I almost didn't point this out because I live in Seattle where it rains all the time, but it's raining. I think this is our first time in the rain. It'll be interesting to see if we practice the wet ball drill. Nix takes a snap. Oh, he's running the QB draw. Frank Reynolds lays the hit. That's what Bo Nix deserves for going to Oregon. Nix out of the bunch, taking the snap over the middle as a man wide open. It's Jackson. Oh, we're going to get toasted, aren't we? Back in the gun. Another option for Bo Nix to the offense. Is he an option quarterback? He's going down in the backfield. Apparently not. Bo Nix is just sad, man. Run an option with a pasty white quarterback. Not sure how that's supposed to work. I'm talking shit downfield to the end zone. Jordan Fowler got turned around. Demetrius Robinson comes up with the bomb from Bo Nix. I'm done talking trash. Auburn's on the board first. We're going back to our bread and butter. Caleb Perry coming off of the first 100-yard game in school history. Lewis hands it off to him. They got insta-sheds off the line of scrimmage. Our offensive line is so bad. They're going to force me to pass the ball in the rain. Not sure how much I like that. Come on, Faria, and it's off target. Incomplete. We have to punt on our first possession. Are they going to run another triple option play with Bo Nix? I'd laugh. Taking the snap. Out of the split backfield. He's stepping up to run. Frank Reynolds can't get him, and he bounces off a tackle. The pasty white wonder boy is carving us up. This is a triple option, isn't it? I have a good feeling. It is a triple option. Pitch it out. Oh, we got swerved. I thought he was taking the quarterback. Bo Nix into the end zone. Say it ain't so. What was our defender doing? He just didn't contain him at all. It looked like he was taking Bo Nix, so I took the pitch man. Clearly, that was the wrong decision. I'm ready to show some sort of offensive production here. Auburn's all, oh, oh he fumbled the football. Mickey Vasquez coughed it up and Auburn recovers. I guess I won't be on offense then after all. What a tough world. Clearly we're not getting any better if Bo Nix is dotting us up. Can we get a stop on third down? Fires to Shanker and he's into the end zone. Once again, I just jinxed myself. We're down 21 points. Mickey Vasquez with a return out across the 40. Can we throw the ball with Marvel against the blitz? And he goes down. He didn't have any time. I don't even know what to do here. We haven't turned the ball over in multiple episodes. Marvel sacked for a third play in a row. They're just here to remind us that this is an SEC defense. Running the ball has failed us, so we pretty much have to pass it. Can we get Marvel going over the middle of the bricks? And he hauls it in just short of the first down marker. We're going to our favorite pass play on third down and three. It's the screen. Get out there, Perry. Get away from defenders, nicely done. And a little stiff arm out of bounds. We're moving the football this drive. If we punt it, they probably get back to this spot in like, what, one play? So we may as well just go for it every time, right? Lewis dumps it off. He gets hit as he throws. No, turnover on downs. Wooten didn't even get chipped off the edge. We didn't have a shot. I'm looking forward to the App State game because we can actually compete with them. Sweep left, we're out there. Nice play, oh man. Nix to the corner, what a dot downfield to Shedrick Jackson. How are we supposed to compete with Bo Nix in all of his glory? Bo Nix, can you spare us some mercy, my friend? I don't want you to put up four touchdowns in the first half. And as he throws incomplete, great pressure from Matthew Wisniewski. They'll settle for three. That's a small victory. I'll take three points out of Auburn. Look at that dude on the field. Check his vitals. Is he alive? Back spasms, one quarter. That was Miggy Vasquez, it looks like. I'm going for it on fourth down. Marvel to Faria. He's got it. We're still alive. It's so hard to move the ball, especially on SEC opponents. Oh, we got a clean release. Bash Thapa downfield. He dropped it, of course. So we've got a minute to do something. I'm not sure exactly what that something is. Outside Vash Thapa. He makes the catch this time. Roll out, Faria, downfield, he's got it. Out of bounds inside the 40. We're moving the ball on number 17, Auburn. Another deep ball, please. I see you. He airmails it out of bounds. How about my main man, Chris Briggs, gets open. Oh, we got Thapa. Make the catch, thank you. A little step back inside the 25. Honestly, the way this game's been going, I'll take any points we can get. Urbanowski, straight down the middle, stays perfect on the year. I literally just want a touchdown. You can beat us 90 to 10 for all I care. Just give me seven points. Marvel, we got a man open. Hit him at Stappa. First down and again at 12. We can't beat their head coverage. I'm just gonna roll out and run. Fourth down again, we're so down bad today. It's one of these days. Take it to Watson. Can he break a tackle? He can't. He gets stonewalled. At this point, the game's pretty much all but lost. But hey, can we get one good drive against Auburn's backups? I'd be absolutely thrilled. Set up the screen to Perry. Get blocks around the left side.
side. He's got plenty of room out across the 50. This has been a tough game for us today. Can you at least give me this? Marvel rolls. He's got a man open. Downfield. It's Chris Briggs. He can't hang on through the hit from McCreary. I owe it to myself to try. You know, it's been a rough day. Can we at least get points on the board last minute here? To the sideline. We've got Faria and he drops it. Our most sure-handed receiver. We got Thapa wide open on the corner. On fourth down, he makes the catch inside the 25-yard line. Thank you, Vash Thapa. Keeping this end of game drive alive. All my pride's on the line if we don't score a touchdown here. I'm very motivated and Pontillo drops it. <laughs> I'm not good enough to put up points against these teams, but my receivers are not helping me. Come on, Vash, it's intercepted. Simpson was lurking all the way. That's my first turnover in what, like three games? And they didn't even give us the ball back. That's our first game without a touchdown against Auburn of all teams. Bo Nix absolutely lit us up, 47 to three. I'm hoping the second game of the doubleheader goes a little bit better. Is there anything notable to point out stats wise? Marvel Lewis, 39% completion and Caleb Perry only had 21 yards. That's all you really need to know. Winning is not something that the two and five size most are accustomed to? Well, of course not. It's our first season in college football. At least there's a positive for the future of the seismos in this cheat clapping of a loss. Big Daddy Womack and Malachi Washington gonna be seismos next year and beyond. We're back at home against App State. They're four and one. This should be pretty problematic for us, but we should at least have a chance. Knock on wood. I am curious. Give me your game predictions for this one, because honestly, I don't know what to expect. It could really go either way based on how the past couple games have been. It all just depends on what version of the seismos we see today. Is this game is is underway. I'm really hoping for the best, but what a beautiful day in Hawaii. My goodness, the field and everything in the sun, looking like a great day for college football. We're running the ball right off the gate. I want to see what this team's made of. Okay, five yards on his first run. That's pretty good. Wait, where's Perry? Watson checked in on the second play. Oh, that's not good. I really hope he's not injured. Lewis hands off to Watson on third down. He's going backwards. Three runs and a three and out for the Seismos, and I still don't know where Caleb Perry is. What a bizarre first drive. Three runs. Caleb Perry gets knocked out of the game. We don't know where he is. Really hoping that App State doesn't have much to offer. Rice hands off to Peoples on the first play. He's not going very far either. A loss of one. Looks like they run a pistol offense. Haven't seen too many like this this year. Hand off Peoples. Looks like we got him, and he's breaking away from everybody. Somehow gains nine on that one. Can we get the stop on third down? I'm going to send the heat because why not? Peoples right up the middle. He has plenty of space into the open field. And maybe that's why you don't blitz. He takes it the distance for a touchdown. It only took him three runs to go 52 yards for a score. We sent the blitz. It didn't matter. Their offensive line was not going to budge. There's our answer. Bruised shoulder for three weeks. That's a huge injury. We have to lean on Donnie Watson. And I don't even know who our other running backs are, to be honest. Maybe we should throw the ball a little bit more over the middle. We have a man open. It's free. He drops it and there's a flag on the field holding on us. Caleb Perry was the glue holding us together And now I don't know what to do. We got to feed Donnie for a few weeks He's not getting the blocks he needs. He goes backwards for a loss of three. It's third and 20 We're falling behind in this game really really quick. I don't know what to do about it either Bryce goes play action to the sideline. It's intercepted. Miggy Vasquez, thank you. That's exactly what I needed. That's what we do about it, I guess. I think that's the first interception of the series coming in game number eight. That's a nice turn of events. Can we capitalize off of it? Pontillo's wide open. Make the catch. A little bit of an awkward move, but he gets eight. They're stacking the box every single time. We can't run the ball. They looked up our profile. They watched the film and Watson's running people over for 11. Just cut this one back up field, Watson. There's six yards. The interception is so huge because I thought they were going to go up 14-0. Instead, we have a chance to score as Kapoi gains eight yards. It's another third down situation for the Seismos. We're taking this screen. Thap is wide open. Why risk it? Play action, Lewis. Rolling. We got Eddie. Makes the catch inside the five. Nice play, Yeti, Eddie. No need to get fancy. Can we score from one yard out? Hand off Petrino. Fall forward, big man into the end zone for a touchdown. Urban Petrino's second on the year and the PAT ties it. MKU. <laughs> App State's nothing. Bryce, read option. Nobody's out there to defend. There's nothing but red in front of him. Does Bryce have the speed down inside the 10 and push down and bounds at the seven? He fooled everyone in the stadium and Seismo is not amused. First and goal, play action, Bryce. Where are you gonna go? Steps up to run. Does he have the corner? He does into the end zone for a touchdown. App State has two big run plays in each of their scoring possessions. Tough sledding for the Seismos. It's been a long first quarter, honestly. Faria over the middle. He beats his man and has a first. Well done, Deegan. It's third down at the start of the second quarter. Big play for the Seismos as they're down seven. Snap, hit Faria. Or just don't hit Faria at all, wow. Make or break, third down and nine for the Seismos. Just get a stop, please, I'm begging you. Bryce over the middle to Williams. A nice play, Frank Reynolds, to break on the ball. The defense showing some grit. We just have to set up a screen because we're not in a rhythm with Marvel. We can't run the ball. 
Watson gets blocked. Thank you around the corner. Stiff arm and he's short of the line to gain. We have a decision to make here. If we don't get this, we're in really, really bad shape. We just want to punt this ball away and trust our defense to get another stop. Play action, Bryce. I see you. Oh, he got us. I didn't think he was going to throw to Sutton and I backed off. He has a first down. Bryce in the pocket. To the outside corner, Sutton makes the catch and they have the ball at the 35 yard line where we would have turned it over if we went for it anyways. This gamble's not paying off and I'm looking really dumb. Out of the pistol, what a tough game. Bryce read option, hands off Peoples again. He has a big lane up the middle. We miss tackles and he walks in the end zone for a 22 yard score. Georgia Southern or FCS didn't have an athlete like this and it's showing on the field. They're just gassing us out. We can't run the ball, we can't pass the ball and we can't stop their running game either as Watson goes for nine. This game's winnable but the Seismos haven't made it's so. Thomas Pontillo makes the catch across the 40. A score before the half is absolutely a necessity as Marvel gets slammed. That guy didn't even get blocked, man. Come on. Second and 19. They're sending the blitz. I see you, Pontillo. Up the seam. We get all those yards back and then some. First down. 156 and ticking. Come on. Briggs over the middle. I see you. Make the catch. Another first down. Don't let the Seismos get into a rhythm on you. Can somebody get open, please? Marvel takes off anyways out of bounds inside the 20. They've been making the big plays. Somehow we're staying in it. I don't even know how at this point. Point. Marvel play action. Hit for Rhea. Oh, he drops it inside the five. Deegan Faria's hands have disappeared today. Spending too much time with Vash and Chris Briggs. I see you, Chris Briggs. We got sacked and it's a fumble. Are you kidding me, bro? Man, I am distraught at this point. I still believe in the comeback, though. We just need a lot to happen. That's a fumble, no question. We're calling a timeout. We want this ball back. It's third down and three. Bryce snaps, steps up in the pocket, looks to run downfield. Sudden, that's not fair. Why did Jordan Fowler not cover him? He's breaking tackles everywhere. Out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Their entire offense is literally just like three big plays at this point. Bryce to Pearson into the end zone for a touchdown. None of our guys want to tackle, apparently. And it's a three-possession lead for App State. If we don't get a stop, we're pretty much toast. That's all I can say. Third and inches. I'm run committing. I don't even care at this point. It is a run up the middle. Him people still gets the first down. Triple option, there might be a chance. Why did you not go for Bryce, dude? What are you doing? Did you see Hampton just let him go right by? From the pistol on third down and 11. Can we get off the field? Bryce hands off Peoples. He takes off down to the 45. He's met and he's not going anywhere. We force a punt. I can't believe this. One of our defenders jumped on the punt return and it's fourth down and one. They're going for it from the 40 yard line. Bryce, oh no, he's throwing to Pearson for a first down. This game just hates me today. What did I do wrong? Can we just get off the field already? Field goal, touchdown, turnover, does doesn't matter. Speed option left side. Oh man, in the backfield. Excellent work. EA Sports woke up feeling dangerous today. We're going forward on fourth down and inches. Go Kapoy, show the power. Oh no, he got pushed back. Stonewalled. I'm so disappointed in this size, Mose, honestly. I can't express it enough. We thought we were going to win this game. Go downfield, Briggs, make the catch. At least there's that positive. Times are tough for the size, Mose. I just hope we can get better. Recruits, if you're seeing this. Oh, back to Faria. We've got him. He makes the catch all the way down to the 20. Start of the fourth quarter. That comeback we wanted never happened. We've got a man wide open. It's Duran into the end zone. Touchdown Seismos. At least that possession was pretty good while I was actively complaining about our entire team. But that's aside the point. Touchdown number two. What a miserable performance from the Seismos. Get me out of here. I don't want to look at you anymore, Appalachian State. As always, stick around for two prospect spotlight videos, but we're going back to the drawing board. 328 yards and three touchdowns. Our defense had no answer for the ground game. A better completion percentage for Marvel Lewis, although it really didn't feel like it, to be honest. Really off game for the entire offense. Losing Caleb Perry really sucked. Donnie Watson's good, but it's great to have that one-two punch. It's really tough for Donnie Watson to be the only guy. Anthony Jasper say is so close to committing. He's a big six foot six, 287 pound tackle out of California, and he'll be the day one starter the second he steps on campus. He's a freak athlete with 69 speed, 90 acceleration. Do I need to say more? But 79 strength, and while his blocking does need work, he's only a freshman, and I think he could be a very good player when all is said and done at MKU. I said at the start of the series that we'd be looking at East Carolina's recruiting class, but we haven't gotten a chance to do that quite yet. So why not start today with Alejandro Klink Sr., the number one cornerback in the nation, who as the senior namesake suggests, somehow has a kid at like 18 years old. While he's a player off the field, he's also a player on the field. The number one cornerback in the nation standing at six foot one, 184. He's a blue chip prospect period with great athleticism, 94 speed, 93 acceleration, and absolutely absurd once in a generation type coverage. This guy sticks to you. 92 man coverage, 87 zone coverage. ECU's got a good one. By the way, ECU has exploded in the polls recently. They climbed to number eight. And on top of this, they still have a Heisman finalist in Noah Brooks. 
As for the Seismos, we're in absolute shambles going into our game against number two Texas before taking on Hawaii at home to end off the episode. That's hopefully the start of a great rivalry, but we're gonna need to play much better than we did against Dap State today to get the W for sure. My name is Jack. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you to Patreon supporters CJP Pole, Dalton Jet, Jason DeMarco, Deegan Furia, Maki Harukawa, Tklink24, Buckknife, Slim Marley, Caden Bjornstead, Christian Horn, Ibrahim Bashir, Jonathan Chadwick, Chrissy the King, Pum, Matthew, Jordan, Randy Constance, Lamar Stevens, and Taylor Adams.